Hello, today we're going to introduce a TCP IP stack solution that can be used as a gateway on Genic devices. It's a very low cost way of saving system costs for your design and it fits well with our software stack solutions strategy of offering a wide variety of solutions for you. The idea of using this is that you can have a mixed architecture. You can take the advantages of using a low cost 15.4 radio network to collect data much lower cost than if you were to try to do Wi-Fi at every single node, much lower power. And so you can collect this data from a wide variety of applications, thermostats, security systems, and then convert it over to a backhaul network that is Wi-Fi or Ethernet, maybe even a cell phone modem. And that gives you the benefit of having remote access from a computer, from other providers. Maybe it's a doctor that's dialing into a patient's records to see what's been happening. All of that is provided by having a benefit of a mixed architecture, again, using the 15.4 for what it's best for, which is low power, long battery life, low cost, and combining it with a gateway, which can give you the benefits of having external access to your data. Some of the applications that it can be used for is lighting controls gateway, Light poles are out on the street. You may want access to them from the Internet. This provides an easy way of doing it. Genic has a complete reference design for all of these applications, for RFID, for medical, for lighting, and you can combine it now with this gateway and provide a very easy, low-cost solution, uh, easy to implement. One microcontroller handles the GenNet stack as well as the TCP IP stack. That reduces your cost significantly and allows you to connect up again either with a Ethernet cable or connecting up to a Wi-Fi network. How does it work? The microcontroller that's used on a Genic JN5148 device is very powerful. It has 128K of user and program space. It is fast enough and has enough resources to run a TCP IP stack and run the GenNet stack at the same time on the same processor. The TCP IP stack is a third-party uh, reference stack, open source, that we provide. So it is one of the only stacks that we don't provide a lot of support on. All we know that it executes on our design, and the user would have to take ownership of that software stack. We would, of course, handle the GenNet and any other issues with the microcontroller. Use a PHY interface, and then again, you can have external ac access through the cloud computing with by knowing the TCP IP address of your system. So how does it work? You can have a design. In this case, a GenNet can collect sensor node data throughout your house, humidity, temperature, inside, outside. All of that is routed on a self-healing GenNet network and collected at one node, the coordinator node in this case. The coordinator node is running the GenNet and doing the TCP IP stack interface. If you buy a stack, static TCP IP address, you'd be able to access it. Otherwise, you use the 192.168 address that's common. And Office Note, again, is doing a lot of processing, but we can handle that with our device. It shows the full power of using our device core for your applications. In addition to running the networks, that node does web host paging. So it shows you this HTML code, shows you the nodes, office, bedroom, and so forth, MAC IDs, the temperature readings, the battery voltage, that is an internal ADD converter channel. If it's battery powered, it reads the voltage and transmits that as well without having to tie up an external ADD channel. Shows you the status and so forth and the last time that the network was updated. And again, looking at the board, what does it contain? Very low cost component count. There's a regulator, some transistors, a couple push buttons. The major cost items, again, are the Genic module and Ethernet Phi is very low cost to do that. That one microcontroller that's on the module would run the GenNet networking stack. It would be doing a measurement, temperature measurement at that node. So it's an additional node for measuring temperature, humidity, and it runs the TCP IP stack, hosts the web pages all on a single device. Everything is provided by Genic. We have one application out the JNAN. 1151, which points out how to run the software, what can be expected from it. 
It is meant to run in conjunction with the reference design 6026, which gives you the hardware. This particular application note explains the software stack and how it operates. The hardware reference design, again, RD, reference design 6026, gives you schematics. It gives you PC board layout, Gerber files, everything you need to get started with the design. If you need a complete unit to purchase, a company by the name of Atomic Programming has complete units for sale. You can buy them in an enclosure, plastic enclosure, and be able to run it on your system. You can do in-system programming on the module. The modules are on a mezzanine connector, so you can swap out high power, low power, whatever configuration you desire on your design. Hopefully we've given you some ideas on the benefits of using Genic and make your product less costly and more reliable. Any other questions, feel free to get a hold of your sales channel. Thanks.